Hey guys, I'm back with another video. So I thought I would do my own uh, method on uh, looking from left to right. And uh, so I'll show you how I did that. And uh, actually, I this one kind of snaps, but we're going to fix that in uh, the one that I do. So you can look up and down as well. So let's get started. So first off, you're going to create a new third person uh, example uh, template project. And then you're going to go under the blueprints and you're going to right click and you're going to go to blueprints and blueprint interface. You don't really need to do this part. You can skip it if you want to, but I uh, like to do this because I think it's best practice to get in the habit of uh, doing things properly. So uh, just open up that after you've made it and we're going to call this essential values. Kind of an ALS naming convention, but I like it, so I'm going to use it. So right here, we're going to call this aiming rotation. And we're going to select uh, rotator here. We're just going to co compile it and save it. We're going to open this one up. And then uh, here, let me do this real quick because uh, this guy's not going to stop. So uh, over here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to class settings. And we are going to go to add and we're going to select that BPI char info that we uh, created. And if you can't find it, type it in here BPI uh, char info. But you have to, I guess it's case sensitive. Anyway, uh, so come over here and just double click on this under interfaces, uh, expand that tree and double click essential values. We're going to get this and we're gonna we're gonna drag off of it and we're gonna say get control rotation so after we've done that save it exit out of that go to mannequin animations and open up third person and bp uh, so under this what we're gonna do is we're going to drag this one out and we're gonna promote this to a variable and we'll just pull this out We'll go ahead and create our, uh, our two functions as well. The first one is going to be update char info. And the second one is going to be uh, uh, update looking angle. And then we're going to go back over here and we're going to drag these off of here. First we're, we want to update our char info and then we want to update our looking uh, angle. So after you've done that, right click up here and type in initialize animation right here, blueprint initialize animation. I want to control X that and paste it right here to try get pawn owner. And off of here we're going to cast to a general character class, which uh, will give us access to anything that's that has the character as its parent class. Then we're going to uh, promote this to a variable. I'm going to call this char ref. You can call it whatever you want. And we're going to drag this out onto these nodes here. Anywhere basically that try get pawn owner was uh, connected. So first we're going to come into here, the update char info. We're going to drag this out. We're going to get it. We're going to type in essential values. It'll have a message and uh, uh, parentheses right there so we can just drag this over here like this then promote this to a variable aiming rotation that's fine so under update looking uh, angle we're just going to drag this off and what we need to do is we need to get the angle between where the character is looking and we we're going to get the angle between where the character is looking and where the character is facing so get your char reference and pull off of it and type in uh, uh, get actor rotation right here so let's plug this into our delta and if you didn't see me what I did earlier I just typed in delta off of this it's a delta rotator and so off of this, we actually need to split that. 
and off of our y, we're going to divide it by negative 2. And the reason why is because we're going to use two modified transform bones, and the values that we're, uh, the rotator that we're making from this needs to control both of them. So we're going to uh, divide it by the number of transform modified bones that we're doing. In this case, this is the look up and look down function. So when your camera is pointing down, it's actually uh, going to be a, a positive, and when it's uh, when you're looking up, it's going to be a negative, so we want that to be inverted. And so that's why I'm dividing by negative 2 on this one. So off of this one, we're just going to divide again, but we're going to divide by 2 this time. And uh, also, let's see. Yeah, we're going to uh, clamp these angles. And I'm going to clamp it between negative 50 and 50 for me. I've already printed these values out. You can just hook up a print string to them to see what kind of values you're getting and uh, set the values according to your own needs. If you want him to look farther back, then that's fine. You can do that. You can even add more transform modified bones if you want. So over here, we're just going to create another variable. We're going to call this uh, look angle, uh, looking angle. And I'm going to make this a, a rotator. And then we're going to set this. We're going to split it. We're going to connect this up to the X, actually, and this up to the uh, Z. And the reason why is because uh, uh, for these bones, the X is actually going to be uh, the up and down uh, because we're, using com we're going to use component space. So we're going to connect this up to here for now. And there's one more thing we need to do off of this one. We need to get the Z, or the left or right. And what we need to do is we need to get the absolute value of that. Uh, because this is, if we go to a top-down view here, I'm not sure how well you can see that. There we go. So when you rotate clockwise or in this direction it's going to be positive and when you rotate in this direction it's going to be negative so it's 0 to negative 180 and 0 to 180 so we want to say for me I'm just going to use I'm just going to say if this absolute value is greater than 150 uh, then we can uh, look so I'm going to promote this to a variable I'm just going to call this can look and I'm going to drag this over here, and I'm going to hold down Control and and pull this one over here and drop it on here. And then I'm going to do that. And then we need to duplicate this looking angle. And I'm going to call this smooth looking angle. And if we don't do this, then the then it'll be jerky. So what we're going to do is we're going to set that, and we're going to drag it out. I held down Control to drag it out as a getter. Uh, so off of this one we're going to do an R interp2 and this basically it just uh, it's just slowly over the over time it will uh, interpolate from this current location to our target location and our target location is our looking angle and then we need our delta time and for me personally, I found a value between 10 and 15 to be uh, fine. But for this, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use 10. Uh, the higher the value, the faster it'll interpolate, and the choppier it'll be. The slower the value, the smoother it'll be. So, with that being done, that's pretty much it. We're almost done. Uh, so we just need to do some stuff on the enum graph now. So let me drag this back over here so you can see better so for the default pose we want to catch this and what this does is it allows us to store this uh, pose temporarily so we're going to call this default pose and the reason why is because we need to blend it twice and you can't have one of these uh, connected to two different places and that's the reason why we have to catch it 
So off of here we'll type in default pose and you'll see a use catched pose, default pose. Uh, that's this one. So we're going to duplicate that twice because we're going to need it twice. And off of this first one we're going to do a blend. And we're going to change this from a float to a bull value. And when we do that, that also gives us this blend settings option right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to set this to, let's say, 0.3 and 0.3. You can try 0.2 or whatever. You can play around with it. But that's just the, the blend in and out time. Again, if we don't have that, we're going to get choppy animation uh, movements. So that's the reason why we're doing that. Can look. That's what's going to control this. Now we're going to create our animation layer. We're going to call this uh, look to camera. And now uh, we're going to add an input over here under the details. If you don't see it, select this. Uh, just click on it and then it'll pull up over here under the details. Add your input pose. And then right click and add a modify or a transform modify bone. And before we duplicate this, let's uh, unpin these. So just press the expose this pin and, and click that. And then on this one, we're going to add to existing rotation, and we don't need a float value, uh, so we're going to unexpose that as well. And then uh, now we can duplicate this. We're going to connect this one up here and this one up here. And then we're going to connect this one right here. And I'm just uh, selecting the first one and the second one and I'm pressing Q. Now we're going to drag this smooth aiming angle out and then connect it to the rotation. Uh, now for this we want the first one to be neck so type in neck and get your neck 01 bone and for this one we want it to be head so we want to get our head bone and now we have to right click here and type in linked anim layer right here select it and then go to the layer under the details and select look to camera we're going to connect these and connect that and then compile it save it and that should be it so now uh, Okay, I did something wrong there. So let's go back in here. Let's see, it must be right here where I'm doing this at. Let me open up this other one and see if see what I did wrong here. Did I use a, a less than? No, I did not. I used a greater than. That's the issue. We need to do a less than here. I'm not sure if I told you to do a greater than. I, I may have. But we need that to be a less than. So that's that was the problem. So now you can see we have them looking down, up, left, right. And he has a smooth transition from one side to the other and you can move it back and forth real fast and it won't get jittery or snappy or uh, jelly like uh, that was the issue I had so I had to figure out oh, why it was doing that uh, it was just the way I was doing my interpolations I did the interpolation on the wrong thing so uh, alright that's that's pretty much it so I hope you all guys like this if you have, found it helpful then uh, please don't forget to like and uh, subscribe and, uh, you know, maybe hit that notification bell. So, all right, thank you.